Okay, so if you have the red light flashing on and off and your card still works, everything's fine, you can disable that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Asus and we're going to grab the card, support, download driver's utilities, Windows 11 is what I'm on, and we have tweak 2, we're going to download that. So file with the desktop and we're going to install it. Now I've already installed, uninstalled this program. I've gone through a bunch of test configurations to see maybe if there's a way to like fix it from a glitch or something like that. And there wasn't pretty much. Um, but I'm going to show you where you go. We'll say no for now because I've already installed it and done everything with it. Okay, so we're going to go into advanced mode and we're going to turn on. Now I've got the red flashing light. Now we're going to turn it off. It's off. Close this down, close it down. And now what you can do is you can actually uninstall this program. And you can actually run a registry editor, clear all the files out, and it should still work. I've actually gone through, uninstalled it, and done a cold boot, and everything was fine. And then I tried turning it back on and then back off and doing a cold boot, and it came back. Now, why this issue is there? Okay, so I've had the card only a couple days on this model. And... What I think it is, is that I checked last time I was on here, um, Armor Crate. And Armor Crate had an update. Let's see if there's any more right now. Maybe there's a fix already. Maybe not. But I believe what the issue is, is... Armor Crate, when it updated the graphics card's RGB, it caused the issue, I believe. So right here is the kit and the update. And um, yeah, after I installed that and pretty much turned the system back on and off the next day, because I, I, I did it and then logged off and was done for the night, I got the red flashing light. And I did a little bit of research and I saw somebody that they said that you can turn this off and which is a nice feature to have that you can turn it off kind of a disappointment that you can actually or you actually have to turn it off that it's something glitched out i believe it'll probably be fixed if it is something to do with armor crate uh, asus and armor crate and rgb is not the best i mean i've g skill ram for years now and i've got the new ddr5 and um, no problems with the ddr no there was a problem with ddr5 that's right what was it i think there was with the rgb and um, I just went to G-Skill, installed their program, worked fine. And then later on down the road, I just uninstalled the program. And then Armor Crate was updated to be working fine. Enough. So basically, it's probably just a bug. So, and um, at least they have the option. You can turn that option off, which is nice. And um, you can actually uninstall the software and still run everything, and it's fine. And you can see I'm Armor Crated up just because of the different the motherboard, the cooler. So that software, obviously I keep it installed. And um, pretty much the GPU tweak while I install that is because I use MSI Afterburner pretty much exclusively. Uh, most of the other manufacturers, their software is always buggy, glitchy, changing. And um, pretty much if you're gonna benchmark something like I had a Titan card, which was a, you know, basically, a, Founders edition, they call it, something like that, where it wasn't made. Well, maybe that one was made by Asus. I don't know. I know they make the cards for them. Maybe I got that one straight from the video, the Titan XP. I think I did. I don't know. But the MSI Afterburner can overclock any card. That's what's good about it. So that was it.